So when it was finally time for me to go to the MTC, which actually didn't take very long since I got my mission call only 46 days before I needed to report, um, the time went really fast and also really slow. Um, but I just remember arriving to the MTC and just feeling so excited. I went to the Dominican Republic MTC and it was amazing. I, I love it. It's a really small MTC on the temple grounds of the Dominican, of the Santo Domingo um, temple. And it's really small but beautiful. And the MTC is just super little and wasn't really what I was expecting because I heard so much about the Provo MTC being so busy and full of people. And so it wasn't really what I was expecting. But it was so amazing. There was only about 30 missionaries there at the time and only like four or five teachers. And um, it was really cool because we got to know the teachers and the mission president really well. And I just remember flying over the island and just feeling so excited and so hopeful. Um, like it finally, it finally came. It was finally my turn to put on my name tag and to be a missionary. And I was so excited and I remember walking into our rooms and we had like this little envelope that had our things in it and then sitting on there was our name tags and I was so happy to like put my name, ta name tag on. I just remember going to the mirror and, and putting it on there and I just felt where I was supposed to be and it was an amazing feeling. The MTC is really great in the Dominican Republic. The food will fill you up so fast. They give you so much food, a scoop of rice, a scoop of beans, and a huge chunk of meat every day. And there's salad and fruit and yeah. Get your skirts like a little too big because you'll eat a lot. Um, but it's, it's a really good MTC and the spirit is so strong and the teachers are amazing. Just listen to them and, and follow their guidance and just pray to be the missionary that the Lord needs you and and you'll learn so much in the MTC. I just encourage you to use your time wisely. Use your time wisely to study the language. You'll be so grateful that that you did.